Okay, welcome back. Oh boy, last time we finally got rid of that dick of a boss, Kurt. Why do I say dick of a boss? Well, if you were watching, and if you've fought Kurt in this game before, you'll know you just want to... Mm. Me fighting Kurt in Tales of Graces F is like me playing the original Mega Man games before 7. There's a lot of swearing involved in middle fingers raised toward the ceiling. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk to everyone like I think we're supposed to. Kurt isn't moving. Okay. Poor Kurt. It's a shame it came to this. Uh, I would have figured you'd say, the stupid bastard. He deserved it. Controlling the Falcon, is said. Kurt left me with a pretty tough job. I hope the captain's okay. Ah. Oh. I... Did not know you could do that. <laughs> uh, that's actually the first time I've checked on Kurt's dead body, and I did not know you got a weapon for Malik over there. Oh, Kurt. Why you? Well, he kind of did it to save everyone. Is Kurt dead? We won't see him again? No. That's not fair. You only just found him. Please come back. You have to come back, Kurt. Sophie, it's all right. We have to let him rest now. Captain. Huh? What is that? Uh, uh, no. Not you again. Look at that! Is it just me or is she glowing? It seems that you and I are fated to battle. I will not be destroyed! You cannot stop me! Sophie! Now to finish things. Richard! Just when we managed to stop the experiment. Richard, that just can't be him. It just can't. No human could have possibly done that. This is a complete disaster! All of our Aleth is now gone! 
And in addition to that, it was stolen away by the King of Windor himself. That scum! This is nothing less than an act of war! And don't think that you'll be slinking away either! Guards! One moment there, Chancellor Eigen. <gasps> What's so? What are you doing here? I have come here before you today as the Overseer's representative. You mean to say that you speak for the Amarcian Overseer? Yes, greetings, Chancellor. I come here bearing a personal message for you. We humbly request that you spare all of these people and leave them to our care. The actions of King Richard endanger not only your country, but all of the kingdoms in the world as well. The Overseer has chosen to devote all of Marcia's resources to resolving this terrible threat. And to that end, we require the information these people possess. Uh, but my country has suffered a great outrage and I cannot. The Overseer also said one more thing. Depending upon your answer, we may be forced to recall all engineers who currently provide aid to the government of Fendel. She hopes this won't be necessary, and that we can continue to enjoy a mutually beneficial relationship for years to come. Oh, so be it then. I leave this matter in the hands of the Overseer. Everyone move out! Poisson, oh, that was a serious threat you just made. Did the Overseer really say that? Of course she did. Huh, you're gonna make a great Overseer someday. Your timing was totally perfect too. The question is, how in the heck did you know we were here? Your sister Fourier returned and informed us that the Falconist was in very grave danger. I'm sorry about the Valkanis, but we couldn't save it. So what do you think we should do now? We have no idea where King Richard will strike next. Actually, the Overseer did mention something about that as well. Oh, she did? She believes that King Richard will most likely make for the Lestalia. Lestalia? The Lestalia is the core of our planet, and the only true source of all the Krias in the world. Here, Pascal, I have something for you. This is the key to the Archive of Wisdom. There is much about the Lestalia that still remains hidden even from the Overseer. But she believes you can find more information about it within the Archive of Wisdom. You sure it's okay for me to go inside it? The Overseer believes you have learned a great deal from recent events. So, she has decided to bend the rules for you. But just this once. Wow, she really said that? Well, let's check it out. Pascal? Agreed. The time for caution is over. We must seize any hope, no matter how faint. I'm staying here. Captain? I have to. I am responsible for Kurt's work and continuing the revolution. I am, in my heart, a man of Fendel. I will not abandon my people again. I fear there's little point in you taking up the torch of revolution now. Why not? Kurt's final wish was for the Valkanis research to be completed and his people rescued from misery. If there is any hope for completing this mad task, then we must find and defeat King Richard. I think you should come with us. Come with us. Show the world what it really means to be a true man of Fendel. Hubert. I'm coming too. Kurt totally trusted me after all. 
Captain Malik, please. We still need your guidance and your instruction. Asbel. You are... You're too good to me, my friends. It will be an honor to have you with us, Captain Malik. I'll remain here. There are still many delicate matters to discuss with Chancellor Eigen. Also, the Overseer will be here soon. I'm sorry I can't go with you. Don't worry about it. We'd appreciate all the help, Poisson. All right. Let's head back to the Amarcian Enclave. Right. Yes. My, my. That was a long bit of dialogue. Almost about ten minutes there. But anyways, we just now got the Archive of Wisdom key, so now we can head into the Archive of Wisdom and find out more about Valkanis and some other... Let's see... I'm trying to find out about the Rostalia. Oh, come on, Hubert. I don't want you in here. Damn it. Let's see. Let's equip Malik with that Platinum Blade Ring now. I still... Still kind of surprises me that that was actually there. Alright. This will return you to the entrance. Yeah, let's use it. <gasps> Ugh. Hiccups. Again. Ah, but anyways. Let's see. Oh. Check this. Come on. Let's tell ya. The Cree is core at the center of the world. Why would Richard go to such a place? Hey now, take it easy. Once we hit the Archive of Wisdom, all will be revealed. How are you doing, Sophie? You didn't seem like yourself when we saw Richard earlier. Is there anything you want to talk about? I'm fine. Please don't worry about me. I wanted to stop Richard because we're friends. Well, okay, if you say so. Come, let's get back to the Amarcian Enclave. Kurt, I wasted my life on half measures. But no more. I will fulfill your dying wish, I promise you. Oh, jeez. Not realize you were running towards me. I wonder. Um, let's go see if that cat will take us somewhere. Turtles transport. Um, um. I have a feeling I'm. I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Okay, thank God. I was sitting there for a second going, oh crap, I forgot if Zavert was the capital of Fendel. And I'm thinking, oh jeez, I'm going to be heading in to a completely different area and I'm going to be pissed that I have to walk all the way back. Well, I wouldn't have to do that. All I would have to do is, you know, go back to the turtles and get some stuff, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, there's, a, there's something on the ground. Probably trash, right? Oh no, we got some gel seeds that I am already full on. Yeah, I need to start using my mixer so I can max it out. Honestly, I've just never bothered with the mixer in any version of this game. PS3, Wii, whatever. I mean, I just ignore the mixer. Don't come towards me. You two, get away. Don't try to run away by turning into me. You too. Whoa! Oh, jeez, I've got to sneeze really badly. Mmm, I've got to sneeze. Not sure, but I think I just went the wrong way. Oh, what's this? Emperor's Claw. Okay, I need one more and I can go and do that request. Am I heading the wrong way? Shit, I'm heading the wrong way. Get out of my way, Harpy. I don't want to fight you right now. I don't want to. I'm just trying to get to the Amarcian Enclave. Oh, don't turn into me. Sometimes when you guys turn, you're like fucking rockets. 
Like a walk normal turn. Vroom. Holy shit! Okay, let's see. Do you have anything in here I want? Uh, let's get some gels. Um, need some more life bottles. I want. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, whatever. I still have some money left. Chocolate covered banana. Let's. All right, made some money back, most of it. <clears throat> but anyways, now time to head inside and go to the archive of wisdom. One thing I'm kind of looking forward to is after I'm done with Sonic Adventure 2 HD and Shortly after that, I'm going to be starting, um, what is it? Fantasy Star Online Episode 3, Card Revolution. So, yeah, for a while I'm going to be doing two games again. Ooh, hello. Oh my, that's a lot of SP. Um, let's see if I can find something else that seems like it would be better. Ah, but jeez, what was I going to say? Hold on. Where was that one? Mm -hmm. That was a really good... That was a really good one. I can't remember where it was, though. Uh, was it Combo Master? Ooh. Or... I think it was. Let's see, let's just equip some titles real quick. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I should be going for things with more. Uh, no. Oh my, holy crap. Mmm. 1,040 SP, just to go up to physical defense plus 6. Uh, and it's probably going to be the same thing for this one, too. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I guess so. Well, hold on. Yeah, don't... Don't yell at me. I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, I'll go for that one, too. Why not? Uh, damn, why not? Uh, why not? Okay, well, here. Okay, if you request Emperor's Claw for reward, we get... Uh, we get the Platinum Dual Blade for... Let's see, Sherry learned the Veil of Faith, and Pascal learned Sudden Impact. Anyways, we've got the Platinum Dual Blade for Hubert. Come on. Even though we honestly probably never... will probably never be using Hubert. Huh. Look at that! Holy shit! Wow, that's... pretty... far away. Um... What's that do? Iron stance from casting, 50%? Oh. Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and head into the Archive of Wisdom. We just wasted a lot of time there. Um, but what I think I was kind of talking about before I went off subject was kind of looking forward to finishing Sonic Adventure 2 HD. Because <clears throat> after that's finished, then I'll just be, you know, a few days straight of Tales of Grace's F. Then... Starting up on, um, Fantasy Star Online Episode 3, Card Revolution. And of course, once that's done, then I'm just going to do completely all Tales of Grace's F until I finish that. Then I'll go on to other projects. <coughs> so I tend to take my time with projects when I start doing two of them at the same time. Or more. 
Oh, I was doing like three or four at one point. God, that was just hell. Never do more than two projects at a time. It's just... It's stupid. I imagined that a place called the Archive of Wisdom would be more like a library. Well, so did I. They did say it was a library. Sort of. Don't store it on paper. Oh my gosh, I never actually thought I'd come here. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, let's see what we can learn about this Lestalia. Hey, that looks like the machine where we saw Sophie's illusion. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, which means if I just twang this thingy here. <laughs> What is that? Is it real? I can see right through it. Okay, let me see. Lustalia, Lustalia. Got it. <laughs> okay, now let me just. Oh, that's crazy. So the Lestalia really does exist, but it's different from Valcanus Creus. How so? Well, it's kind of like the basis for Valcanus. Eleth is created in the Lestalia and then stored in Creus and Valcanus Creus. It also says that Valcanus exists to stabilize the Eleth produced by the Lestalia. Oh man, this is heavy. There's something slightly unnatural about the Lestalia and the Valcanus. It's like they were almost designed. I was totally just thinking that, Sharia. Great minds think alike. Okay, so that's what the Lestalia is. And Richard will go there next? Oh yeah, in fact, I'm more sure of it now than ever. Richard didn't care about the Valcanus, he just wanted the Elith. What happens if he absorbs the Elith from the Lestalia? Hmm... Well, since there would be no more Elith, I think the world would just kind of... die. That's crazy. I mean, that can't be what he's after. Could it? If the Lestalia is at the core, we'll need a way underground. How do we get down there? Let me check. Aw, oh, bananas. Not again. The records are so darn old. Come on, you. Okay, there we go. Looks like there's an entrance at a place called World's Eye. It's not far from Warrior's Roost, actually. Anything else useful? Hmm... Lambda. Lambda? There's that word again. What does it mean? Looks like it's the name of someone who went after the Valcanus a long time ago. Just like Richard is doing now. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a poem or something here. A poem? The seed of destruction from Fodra falls to the land of three lights, sprouting its limbs to shroud the radiance. The savior of Fodra rises to wither the leaves of destruction, guarding the lights forevermore. Okay, so are we supposed to know what any of that means? Because I totally Me don't. neither. <clears throat> well. Oh crud, there's another blank spot here. I should say, I don't understand it. Completely. Seed of destruction. Fodra. Where have I heard that? Sophie, what's wrong? Are you okay? I can almost remember. But my head hurts. You need some fresh air. Come on, let's go outside. I'll take care of Sophie. You guys stay here and learn what you can. Thanks, Sharia. Eh, 
This information is just too fragmented. I can only read little bits and pieces. I might be able to repair it or whatever, but it'll probably take some time. Do you know what happened to that Lambda guy after he attacked the Valcanus? It looks like someone jumped in and saved the day. I found a little bit about how he was stopped by something called Protos Hase. I'm guessing the seed of destruction in the poem is that Lambda dude. Which means Protos Hase would be... The savior of Fodra! It makes sense. For some reason, Richard is trying to recreate the events from that poem. I think we've learned enough. We should hurry to World's Eye. Agreed. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let this world die. We'll stop Richard this time. We have to. Okay. Oh boy. You okay, Sophie? Does it still hurt? Lambda. Seed of destruction. Savior from Fodra. I can almost remember. It's okay. Don't force it. It feels like I have to remember, or something terrible will happen. Huh. I was almost certain that the Amarsian Enclave was underground, not... I don't know. Whatever. Something terrible? But it's hard. I'm scared. How are you, Sophie? I'm fine now. I'm sorry. We've decided to head for World's Eye. Okay. Don't push yourself if you're not feeling well. No, you must take me with you, please. Okay, but let us know if anything's wrong. We'll have to head back to Zavar at first. We can catch a ship from there. Okay, and with the time limit going past 27 minutes again, I'm gonna kind of close this episode off over here. Just gonna go save, and that's that. Honestly, I'm not trying to do these episodes so freaking long, but... Being a Tales of game, they just kind of happen, and no, we're not doing this skit right now. We'll get that when we come back next time. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, that's it for today's episode. Uh, I apologize for being so long yet again. I mean, if you enjoy it, that's great, but honestly, I, I don't like trying to record these episodes too long if I can avoid it. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it again, and I will see you all again next time. Bye.